I'm Emma, I'm Packed Artist and today we're going to be making, in your art pack that you've received, a gingerbread man. So it can be hung from your tree or if you don't want to put a hanger on it, you could actually use him as a bookmark or just sitting on a shelf. Okay, so first things, you need to get a clear space going to be using glue dots again so you don't need to worry about getting glue on your surface but you may want to cover it with a tablecloth or newspapers or card and you need to be able to spread all your pack out to see that you've got everything that you need to make your gingerbread person. So also I want to say if you need to pause this video at any time to take a break or if I'm moving too fast, just pause it so you can catch up and then carry on playing it to continue with your activity. Are you ready to get creative? Okay, let's see what's inside our pack, shall we? So we'll move that to one side and in your pack, to make your gingerbread man, you should have a jumbo lolly stick that's gingerbread coloured and I've drawn icing lines on there to represent it being made of ginger and having icing on. Um, I've done that first because you might not have the white pen at home to do it so um, unfortunately we can't put a white pen in every pack. Um, you'll have some glue dots, you should have three buttons, they'll be random colours. If you don't like the buttons and you have one um, at home you want to swap it with then please do. Um, two googly eyes, a pencil, a piece of ginger coloured thread which is to hang him up if you would like to, a little bow and some extra embellishments in case you want to jazz up your gingerbread man. Okay, so I'm going to move everything to one side so we can see clearly what we're doing. So I'm going to grab the googly eyes first, like that, turn them over and that is so we can stick our glue dots on them. Now sometimes I do stick them on beforehand but today um, I'm just going to do it in front of you. So there's one, we only need one of the little dots on, they're very sticky. I've already stuck one to my nail this morning. Okay, so again pop those in the bin and I'll place the eyes there. You can put them wherever you want up and down your gingerbread man stick just as long as you've got room to fit your buttons on and your bow. Now I've made the eyes a little bit wonky but it doesn't matter it just adds character to my gingerbread man. Now the next thing you've got a pencil so that's to put a little mouth on so it can have a sad face, a happy face, it's up to you. So it's just like over and over again like that just to make it stand out. Now what you can do, if you've got a black felt tip, like I've got one here, you can go over that just to make it stand out, but you don't have to, that's why I've put the pencil in. So I'll just show you what it looks like with the pen, okay? So you can make it stand out with a felt tip pen, okay? So what do you think we're going to do next? Well, it's up to you which part you do next, but I'm going to put bow on next. So you'll have a coloured bow in your pack. So I'm going to pop, I'm going to put two on, you don't need two, one's fine but I'll pop two on because it came off together. So take the backings off and then you can put your bow wherever you want to position it on your gingerbread man. Okay, so he's already looking pretty cool isn't he? So or mine might be a girl, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to put the buttons where, what colours I think will look nice together, um, which order. So I don't want to put the purple one next to the purple bow, so I might put that in the middle like that. Then you turn them over, well you have put them on the flatter side because that will help the glue dot stick if it's on a flat surface. So I'll pop one on each one like so, like 
there. Okay, to one side, and then take the backs off like that and place them where you want to. Give them a little press and take the back off again. Pop it on. Whoops, the daisy. Luckily, I had to press it down so it didn't stick in the wrong place. Like that. It doesn't matter if they're not exactly in the middle, like that one, as long as they they'll stick to the bottom really well. So I'm just going to move back a little tiny bit, like that. So there's your lovely gingerbread man. Now next. We can add some embellishments if you want. So these are little stickers. They've already got sticking on. So I might put some around the top. Like that. Peel them off. With stick on. Like that. So you'll have a few. You don't have to use them all. If you wanted to just use one, that's fine. And I'm going to put a few just to sparkle it up a bit on the bottom. You could even put one on top of your button. I'll show you. Like that. I'm going to put one in the middle of that button just to make it look a bit more sparkly. And I'll put one more on there just so it'll sparkle a bit when the light's on it. Because I think I need to put mine on my Christmas tree. So when the fairy lights sparkle on these, it will look all shimmery. So the last thing, because I need to hang it on my tree, I'm going to turn the gingerbread man over and what I'm going to do with the thread, you don't have to, it's just to help it stick together so it doesn't come apart. I'm going to try, a bit fiddly, tie a little knot in just to keep it together in a loop so it doesn't come undone, like that, so it'll have a little knot. You might need um, a grown up to help you with that bit. And then I'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the back. One there. And another bit further up, like so. And then, not stuck to the side, <laughs> I will take the backs off, like so. So the sticky bits go facing the back of your lollipop stick. Make sure that it's up at the top where the eyes are, because otherwise it will be hanging upside down on your tree. You can do that, but I prefer mine that way round. So just press it, not too near the edge, but just press it down like that. You can still see the sticky things, but it's not going to stick to anything because it's hanging up. So as you can see, I'm pulling it and that's secured really tight. So it's not going anywhere. So you've got quite a lot of weight on your gingerbread man with all the buttons and everything. So it's ready to hang wherever I want it. Okay, if you want to just secure it again and you have a bit of sellotape like I've got some here you can just put a little bit on the back as well just to make sure that it's not going anywhere but you don't have to because the glue dots as I showed you were really strong so thank you for joining in and making a wonderful gingerbread man Christmas hanging thank you